Good morning, preppers. A bright and sunny day here in Michigan. In fact, it started off this morning chilly. Well, we're at the farmer's market, and this is the best time as we start going into fall to find the really good deals. And that's what we're gonna do today, find some really good deals. And I hope you do the same thing too, because even if you have your own garden, coming here at the farmer's market, your local farmer's market, that's where you sometimes get the best food and the best prices to be able to stock up, dehydrate, freeze dry, whatever you need to, to be able to stock up for this winter. Mushrooms. And one of these. farmer's market. That's some pretty loud cutting you're doing there. Sorry. <laughs> I cut loud. Small. And again, we love the farmer's market and I always stress that you should try to get as much food from there as possible. It supports local. Uh, and then on top of that, um, it's a lot of fresh stuff. It's better than obviously getting it from most of your grocery stores. So we're going to try something different. We're going to slice up some mushrooms and we're going to put them in the freeze dryer. Hence the reason I put them on these Pans. Pans right here. I get the easy job of simply just laying them out in the pans. And then what are we going to do afterwards? Then we're going to freeze dry them and then we're going to scatter the remains out in the garden. No, we're going to... <laughs> we're going to make a mushroom powder. Yeah, mushroom powder. I'm what gonna, do you do? What I'm going like to grind it. Stuff? Yeah, I'm going to grind it up. And I almost want to grab it with your knife. Yeah, I don't want to slice your fingers. Okay, so we'll get this done and then we'll put it in the freeze dryer. All right, they're looking good. And it's funny, I was thinking, oh, we'll just fill up one pan. Oh no, we uh, we filled up all of them. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Drain valve closed, start it. Dun, dun, dun. The mushrooms are done. Yay. Okay, we like this. It only took, honestly, it should have only taken maybe two hours, but it took maybe like four or five, just to be on the safe side. And uh, you'll notice that the mushrooms are like, they snap. Yeah, they do. They snap. And we're going to put them into, is this a ninja? It is a ninja. We love this thing. This thing, I, mean, we, I make my protein shakes with it and mm -hmm. stuff, and it's great. But we're going to simply just take all these mushrooms and put them in the ninja. Go ahead, Ashley. No. Do that. And um, with that, we're going to pulverize them into powder. And the powder is great for, let's see. Soups. Soup spices, spices, if you want to give yeah. flavorings for stuff. Which we always talk about, it's very important when it comes to spices to have lots of them. Yeah, so you want to have um, just seasonings. And this is going to be for short term. This isn't going to be long term seasoning. I'm not going to put them in a uh, mylar bag. I'm going to put them in a jar and use them because fall and winter come is when I make a lot of the soup. So 
I think it's just going to be exciting to have fresh onion, or not onion, but... <laughs> you make the wrong thing here. I, I did. Speaking of the wrong thing there, I noticed you have an Outer Goshen I do, on. it's the wrong... That's like vintage. That's so old, I know. Isn't it amazing how we had such a huge bowl of mushrooms, and it's going to fill up this Ninja. Yeah, but, but it's, once it's grinded, it's not going to be, gonna be like anything. Nothing, exactly. It's going to be kind of sad looking. <laughs> um, but anyways, we went about four or five hours on there. Um, we could have gone probably two, but when you cut like the very tops of the caps off, some of those pieces were a little bit thicker. And uh, you know what, you live and learn. So what we'll do in now, uh, in the future is we'll simply just make sure we cut them a little bit thinner. But only a couple hours in the machine really works well, as far as the drying time anyways, the freezing time took oh, you wow. know, a couple hours too. Um, anyways, um, so now we have <laughs> a giant bowl going to something that's about seven eighths full going down to something really small. Yeah. Right, ready? Yep. It pulverized it. It did. It went from eight cups to, we got like two and a half, so. And you know, at one point we're like, did we pulverize it enough? But you know, again, it's for spices. Yeah. And so it doesn't have to be like fine powder. It can be little granulated mushroom fun fungus stuff. That's gonna pop it's up. It's gonna be a fun. I don't know if it smells good. Oh, it's know. free. Chocolate. Sniffing spores. <laughs> so, pull this out, right? Okay. It definitely smells like mushrooms. So it's consistency of that. That's pretty, pretty neat. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want to breathe that in? Is that bad to breathe in? <laughs> yeah, I don't think digitally you want to breathe in. I know. Mold spores. It's not good. Obviously, that mold or fungus is not dangerous for you, but. All right. So again, like Ashley said, we're only. Just, oh, that was my bad. I'm sorry. Oh wow. That was my bad. <laughs> Your jar is a little too small here, baby. That's all right. Wow, it is like breathing in mushrooms. It is. That's pretty intense, I won't lie. All right, we'll, we'll put the rest in another jar in a moment. Uh, but anyway, obviously this turned out to be a freeze-dry Friday. It started out with a farmer's market Friday. It did. Now it's a freeze-dry Friday. Um, and making um, onion powder. Now I said it. You did it to me. <laughs> mushroom. Making mushroom powder. This is like, it weighs nothing. It does not. That, that's so it's weird. Kinda, it's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, so anyways, as always, if you want to pick up a uh, freeze dryer, there's a link in the description below. And uh, But obviously doing like this stuff all the time is really fun and easy because the preservation and everything we can do now is a whole new level. It's really mm -hmm. cool. It is. And of course, freeze dryers are not cheap. They're we not inexpensive. They're, they're nice quality, but they're not inexpensive. Is that right? They're expensive. They're expensive. And uh, but they actually have programs, you know, so you can still pick one up and actually work with it. We actually saw a video the other day where somebody had like eight of them. Yeah. I mean, that'd be like a dream, but. And I've I've heard before that you can do scratch and dent. Sometimes they put those up there. Oh yeah. So I mean, and you they can have sales check. too. So I would at least check it out. It is a uh, because here's the thing, with the mushrooms, what are you going to do? You can freeze them. Yeah. But if crap hits the fan, no the freezer. freezer's going down mm -hmm. unless you actually have like a lot of backup power. But with this. If yeah. we did use the oxygen absorber, it'll last practically forever that yeah. way. So it's really nice to be able to take anything now and put it in the freeze dryer and to preserve it exactly. for long, long term. Okay, hope you enjoy this. We're going to be enjoying eating it. Again, it weighs like nothing and it's puffing on the Don't top. Don't smell it though. <laughs> All right, thanks for following along and thanks for enjoying our mushroom goodness.